Hey, Shalom, Akim. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sister Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. I'm the brother Shaman of Great Millstone, Chicago. Uh, just wanted to do a quick response on that, that topic. Somebody talking about GMS ruined my life. All right, shit. Look, man, your life was already fucked up. All right, the scriptures. It's so many. It's so many ways we can explain this to you. <laughs> it's so. With, with, well, it's so many ways that the scriptures explain it. Let me, you know, what I'm saying we can go through the scriptures to explain it to you. You get what I'm saying. All right, but uh, Proverbs 17 and 24. Yeah, cause since the beginning, you know, these things have never reached perfection. And now in the land of your captivity, you woke up to the fact you was an Israelite. You followed after the right men. All right, who had the right doctrine. Who had the right name. And you rejected that. And you think after rejecting something that is 100% truth, that your life is going to now be so great. Well, it's not. All right, and it never was. And it never was going to be great. All right, because this, is again, is the land of your captivity. <laughs> all right, Proverbs 17 and 24. Wisdom is before him that have understanding. But the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. All right, somebody, you sitting there, you know, like we going to the line. You sit there and tell Jake, you know, about all this information and all this good stuff. And they... Okay, well, I got to go uh, meet with my woman. Hey, man, fuck your woman. All right, fuck the restaurant. Fuck the, you know, whatever. Tell the job you're going to be late. <laughs> Wisdom is before him that understanding, but the eyes of a fool and the ends of the earth. And that's what it is, man. Jake just want to please the flesh, and they want to just, I want to journey on and see more. Well, nigga, what the fuck you want to see? All right, this is the this is the explanation of all things. This is the truth. This is why you're here. This is why we went into captivity. This is why your life is fucked up. Your woman don't listen to you. Uh, uh, your you know your kids is getting a poor education. Your food is fucked up. It's all written right here. Like damn, Jake. All right, and you know you get mad about it, but then you think about it like well. The, the, the person's a fool. So, you know, wisdom is heavy for, wisdom is too high for a fool. All right, a fool is heavy. This is Romans 10 and 15, 14, excuse me. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed and who and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how should they preach except they be sent as it is written? Uh, so you got to be sent. All right? Many are called, few are chosen. You got to be sent. How should they preach except they be sent? All right? and for you to be sent, you have to be trained up and then men have to send you. As it, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet. And the Lord has to send you ultimately. How, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and glad tidings of good things. And that's what this is. This is the good news of things to come after this present evil world uh, is, is put down and burned away. All right. You thought you was going to jump back to your life in the world and I don't have to do videos and I don't know, whatever, you know, Satan, you know, tricked you in the, in the, in the fucking believing. And then you got to it. And it was a complete fucking lie. And it was all, yeah. All right? You actually listened to that 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 that, that demon lie to you. Nah, man. The the goal is, he said what? Hold fast, right? Hold fast. Wait patiently upon me. All right, that's a that's a part of the scriptures, man. Patience. You know, because we have a we have a, a quickened spirit, you know. We want to get out of here. We're ready. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to go to war for the Lord. We're ready to see this place destroyed. We're ready to see Esau get his ass, you know. But but it's it's, it's a patience factor too. Alright, it's a lot of a lot of patience scriptures. 
he that, that that will wait upon me, you know, he that shall endure. All right, verse sixteen. For they have not, for they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. And that's what we're doing. We're pushing the word so people can hear the word and they can build that faith up. All right, the end is still going to come. The Lord is, is still going to come. Everything is still going to happen, you know, but, you know, if you take yourself out of the uh, equation, <laughs> and, and, and you know what I'm saying, now, you know, that's the, the elect is still going to be sealed, but, you know, you're not. You're going to be found with the wicked, beaten with many stripes, because you knew and rejected this knowledge, and then you're going to be burned up. Right? GMS didn't ruin your life. They don't have complete control of your life. Yes, you know what I'm saying, of course, this has a, a pull over your life. You're part of a body. You're part of an organization, you know. You're part of something that's bigger than yourself. All right, and in that organiz in that body, there is an administration, there is, um, you know, orders, all these different things that come along with it. You know, and I was talking to a brother about this topic, you know, because it's a, it's, a, it's a simple topic, but I've, I, I have seen, you know, a lot of men say it, you know, over and over again. A lot of it is just, um, you know, Jake makes poor, poor decisions. All right, poor poor decisions. You make poor decisions and want to blame somebody else for something that you make. You know, that could be it. It could be you know doing things without counsel, the proper counsel. All right, it could be you needed to, to fast and pray more, and have more faith, and read more. All right, but whatever it is, you know, if you jump off and quit the gospel over. You know, some petty shit like your life not going. You think all of our lives <laughs> are, are, are going 100%? Do you see us in, you know, multi-million dollar mansions? No, you don't. Uh, the scriptures say, you know, talk about us hating our lives. Yeah, shit, we hate this place. All right? Hey, verse 18, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. All right, and that's just to, 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 to hit the that scripture we, we went to, the eyes of a fool and the ends of the earth. But you know what? Even in the ends of the world, this 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 message has, has, has permeated, it's reached. All right, so you can't get away from it. <laughs> you can't get away from this word. It's going to be on Facebook, it's going to be on TikTok, it's going to be on YouTube, it's going to be over whatever platform that you try to run to get entertainment, all right? Your favorite art, athlete, artist, whoever, they're going to talk about, you know, eventually. Are they going to mention it in an interview or something? So, that, that's what it is, man. This word is permeating and the elect is going to wake up and the elect is going to be sealed. This is Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. So even this pure holy word that the Lord has allowed and preserved all this time to, to be pushed forth and for us to receive. And you know, so it's a blessing to be able to open my phone up and go in this app and, and see you know, the, the Bible and the Apocrypha perfectly laid out. Because that's another question. Oh, is the, was the Bible originally preserved? Yes, it was. We have a sure word. Oh, uh, yeah, Luke 9 and 62. Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. All right, that's plain. You're not supposed to look back. What are you looking back for? Your life was shit before you met, brothers. This, this truth, this word was the best thing that ever happened to you. The Holy Spirit trying you, testing you, and dealing with you is the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, knowing the name of the Lord and knowing the name of uh, 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 
of our Lord, okay, his son, is the best thing that ever happened to you. Right, but shit, when you reject the word, it's going to be the worst thing that's ever happened to you because you're going to vomit it up and then seven more demons are going to jump on you anyway. So, hey, this, and this is why we, you know, vet brothers out, man. That's why the scriptures say count the cost because, you know, you're bringing somebody into something and it's not a gang, this ain't a club. You know, you're going to be tried. Where the scriptures say that wisdom is going to try you. All right, you're going to have situations where demons might hop on you in your sleep and all that stuff, you know, weigh you down, all the things that, you know, people don't like to talk about that happened to them in everyday life, right? That's what's gonna happen to you. You're gonna be tried. You're gonna feel like you're going crazy, right? But like the scriptures say, hold fast and I will give you a crown of life. Lord willing, edify, I show you.